My name is Leroy Repogo and I'm going to be cutting the halibut up here pretty soon. And we're going to cook it. And we're going to eat it. It's going to be good. Stay tuned. Happy birthday to you. Oh, yeah. oh dude. Happy birthday boy. to you. Happy birthday, dear Vincent. Happy birthday to you and many more. Dude, I brought my flute. And I had it in my backpack. Oh, I saw that. And I was going to play happy birthday. while I was going to sneak up on you while you were fishing and start playing it. <laughs> that would have been tight. <laughs> but my flute fell out of my backpack. It's now It now belongs to the ocean. Oh, it did? Real quick, yeah. show us what you caught. While he does that, we have Jason and Gabby meeting us out here as well. They were so gracious to take us out this morning. Leroy and I were definitely due to hit the surf. Unfortunately, we didn't actually hook up. Vince and Jason did, so they had their home court advantage, but I threw the Kalisa, the new one with the pink face. This is one of the new baits that I'm going to try out. It's the Kalisa pink faced sardine glow. That looks really fishy. We'll give it a shot. And again, you still get the promo code 10% off on these ones as well at KalisaFishing.com supports the channel too so thank you guys for all the support also tried drop shotting for gosh maybe two hours of drop shot and then we ended up in this spot where there was all of these surfers and here's what happened that's my pb i, I think, love dude. you you did it that's my pb bro hell yeah Woo! that's gotta be 24 dude, right oh yeah oh yeah dude just came out oh. here got like five bites in like 30 yeah seriously that was nice dude. solid that was a good 26 bite. right there bro all he's, on the swim bait 25 26 dude dude he's got some sex yeah, yeah, meat on him dude i'm shaking when the water's dirty i'm shaking <laughs> we got illegal to cook now guys leroy's got a really good recipe so we're gonna do it oh dude right. this is gonna be awesome feels heavy what's it feeling like man? feeling heavy dude feeling heavy yeah it's feeling heavy dude it's feeling heavy. This, I've, have you ever seen a wide open halibut bite? That's another one, another keeper. Yeah, it's Vince's birthday. Happy birthday, bro. Dude, my birthday fish, bro. Birthday Dude, fish. Nothing could be better than fishing with you guys on my birthday. Yeah. Oh. Mwah. Two Good. monsters, man. That's... Dude, you know, like, what could be more satisfying is... than to work for so hard for so many hours and then to come up successful and to hold it in your hand? Could you have asked for a better birthday, bro? No, bro. Dude, <laughs> oh, thank man. you, man. It's going to get better. I'm We're going to cook them up. Too, dude. This is dude. awesome. Huh? That's an adrenaline rush right there, dude. Oh, dude. You came in like a tank. I usually don't celebrate my birthday at all. This is making up for every uncelebrated birthday of my life. Go, Solid. 27 inch, 26 Cheers. inch. Cheers them. <laughs> so yeah, amongst all those surfers, both of them ended up hooking up with a 26 and a 27 incher. And like I mentioned earlier, it happens to be Vince's birthday, so we just decided that this is going to be a really special catch and cook. Yeah. Leroy infused some olive oil with some special herbs. And he'll tell you more about it here on the cooking portion, but we're hungry. It's going to be poached halibut. Poached halibut. Olive oil poached halibut. It's going to come out moist and tender. Did you hear that, George? You're moist and tender. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much. And guys, just real quick, Vince started a channel. It's called Vince Goes Fishing. And this man knows how to catch them. He is the real deal, guys. So his channel will be linked below. He's starting to share his adventures, reluctantly. <laughs> but uh, he does really, really well. And his style with uh, the swim baits and how he teaches uh, is really unique. So you're welcome follow this man yeah everything we tried wasn't working but the swim bait that he has he has this special rig that he uses that definitely gets him I'm still experimenting you know I'm still pretty new to surf fishing so I'm experimenting with all these different baits I'm gonna be putting in the time and getting bites and getting hook sets and counting and paying attention because I want to report back to everyone you know this bait with this hook gets the most consistent hook sets Vince is definitely scientific with it he analyzes everything he's really like us in a sense where if we aren't successful on the beach we ask ourselves why and then after that why else and then why else and then it's just we start to put together patterns and guys like today dude yeah today we're on the beach we fish for like three hours maybe in a certain stretch 
And then it struck me, I was like, dude, we've put in so much time on this stretch, we haven't hit this spot or that spot. What if all the fish are just pushed down on one side of the beach today? That's because exactly maybe that's said. where the bait was or something, right? So we charged, I charged down the beach, right? And bam, we found fish. And then now it's a really special time because Leroy has a very, oh, very special yeah. recipe to share with us. And he was hinting at it earlier and he's gonna unveil it slowly. Yeah. But no, for real, tell us. <laughs> Well, it's it's a kind of a take on uh, French cooking where they do confit, but we're not going to use duck fat for the confit. We're going to use olive oil because I talked to a really good friend of mine. He's a French chef and he told me don't use duck fat for fish. So we're going to use olive oil. So I infused, took me six hours to infuse this olive oil with garlic and rosemary and thyme and all that kind of stuff. and. Uh, we're gonna poach it slowly in that, the, just the meat itself, and for about about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes, depending on the thickness of the fish, and then uh, and then we're gonna pull it out, and then we're gonna dress it with a couple of different sauces. I have two different sauces today. I have a roasted red pepper cream sauce that I'm gonna try, and then I'm also gonna do some the crunchy garlic. You've seen that on one of the episodes. It's a kind of a crunchy chili oil and uh, I'm gonna mix that with just straight butter, melted butter, and we're gonna make a sauce with that as well. Mm, so, garlic yeah. and butter. Mm. We're gonna do two uh, different, so the, we'll have a choice. Delicious. Hopefully you guys are not watching on empty stomachs because you're gonna be hungry. And, yeah. just a quick introduction, this is Gabby. Hi, I'm gonna put this stuff on here, but this is for you to take home. Oh. Oh. Let's get a little fish basket. Huh? So we got Gabby and Jason joining us today. Gabby actually has a business where she makes charcuterie, so stay tuned guys. You're gonna see a lot of cooking right now. If you bend it, see it kinda tightens up the, oh, the you meat. Bend it. Oh, yeah. See? Gets it tight. Gets it tight and you can More just control. And you can just go down all the way. Look how accurate that is though. Like and we're gonna cut it right here. That's right there is where the meat stops and the rest is head. And then, and then when, after you cut it then you can come to this side and follow the bones and we just want to we just want to go to the middle of the fish when you hit that backbone you want you stop see that's the backbone right there okay you don't need to go any what's interesting is that you know when you hit the backbone i, I just go right through the backbone i just yeah see there's the backbone right there yeah, yeah you can feel that I'm really okay. familiar with that in this part you can just go over the backbone you're not going to necessarily gain too much meat from the fish anyways from the tail. So we're gonna turn them around. Sometimes you'll you'll my knife is a little too sharp and you'll you'll cut through the bones on the bottom but that's no biggie you just when you lift it up you'll you'll find the backbone. If you have to find it again find the center of the fish. Cut it right down the, the backbone that you're hitting. And mm -hmm. then it'll... Yep, see there's the backbone. And see, you might have to just take your knife and just hit it a little bit with some of the connective tissue. That's a nice fillet right there, man. And that is how you do it. So Fortunately, have... when you poach fish, you need the really big parts. Yeah, you need yeah. the big parts when you poach Yeah, it. this is not gonna work, so we'll oh, really? save that for you guys to cook at home. Here's our five pieces of halibut for lunch. Jeez, that would look so awesome. Just perfectly, perfect boneless fillets. Charcuterie. Yeah. That's a cheese. Cheese term? and meat, yeah. Charcuterie. Charcuterie. So fruit. is is there a like plan for the layout? Like do you have a, a, a certain design? I once I start doing it, then I'm just like, okay, it needs this here, it needs this here. You know what I mean? You wanna do the cheese, some nuts, some fruit. So I like to put the crackers on the side. Go, yeah. They're all different. All it my all boards are different. Together. Yeah. And then on here, we're going to put some of this jalapeno pepper jelly. And then we just, with the brie cheese, yes. 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 So you just, my mouth just started watering. <laughs> so you basically have to. Do a little bit of everything. Do a little fruit, a little nut, a little cheese oh, on a cracker. Yeah. Wait, now we gotta heat this up to about 170 degrees. No more, no less. So Leroy created his own little controlled environment here. 
Oh, no yeah, wind. Season it, salt and pepper. You can season it however you like. <clears throat> and, this, and then I'm gonna dunk it in this infused oil. It's not gonna fry. We're not frying. We're actually just poaching it in the oil. So we want the ideal temperature to be around 165, 170 degrees for 20 minutes. And it'll slowly cook the fish. It won't fry it, it'll just slowly cook it. So all the moisture and all that will stay in the fish. See how it's turning white? It's because yep. it's cooking. Slowly. So Leroy, what do you say to those who, who are like, oh, well, isn't the fish just going to get like super soaked in fat? No. No, it won't. It won't penetrate the meat like you're deep frying at a low temperature. You know, like if you put your tempura in, you know, because there's no batter. It's just meat. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the meat will probably get a little bit of flavor from it, maybe a little bit of saturation, but not a lot, right? And that's what the poaching part is about. I mean, when you poach an egg, right, <clears throat> in hot water, you don't get water in your, you don't get water in your egg. True. So it's, 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 it's the science of the cooking. And the meat is full of water and water and oil don't mix. Yeah. Awesome. Crunchy garlic, my favorite. Mm. I've been using this stuff for years. <laughs> like a perfect birthday on my last year or what? <laughs> And now we finish it on the grill. So I have a feeling that finishing it on the grill will caramelize a lot of that juice from the halibut with that rosemary and the garlic. Mm. Summer, babe. Oh yes. Wow, yeah, you got the two different kinds of sauces. What's it called? Mm -hmm. That is a um, Merlot soaked Bella Vitano. And then this one is a uh, espresso soaked. So this one's coffee and this one's the wine soaked. Oh, and this is a Chardonnay. So they're all the buttery cheeses that have like the crystals. Like the oh, sugar crystals because yeah, of the yeah, aging, yeah. yeah. And then this red also is an aged red You're cheddar. Right. Oh yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. so it's just mm -hmm. You just gotta taste it. Right? After being on the surf all day, this is hitting the spot. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get your reaction. On the halibut. On the halibut. All right, George. Mm. 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 Whoa. You good. Yeah. So what did you break it it's, down for us? It's different. Okay. It's pure. It tastes like it's pure. Like you can taste the halibut. Yeah, it's not meant to like give you, a lot of flavor. Yeah, like on the inside, you're eating pure halibut. Okay, it tastes like halibut, and then on the outside, it's the the oil and the herbs. That's so, a very very good way to eat fish for mm -hmm. sure. Excellent. Ten out of ten. Oh. Ten out of ten. Mm -hmm. awesome. Did you make that? That's a crunchy garlic and butter. I'm almost finished. Oh man, it's really good. The <laughs> rubber we just gave you. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Not bad. I like the crunchy garlic butter sauce better than That's I do the, the roasted yeah. red pepper. This is the best food I've ever eaten mm. in my life. And we Welcome we to 40. Yeah. 41. <laughs> oh, dang. 41. And, and then we yeah, had a few minutes you can see the fish change mm. colors and start turning white. Mm. Oh, I like it. The main draw to this is that halibut's so easy to overcook. Mm -hmm. So doing it this way, 170 for 20 minutes, Ooh. and with the herbs, it's almost like like marinating in there, and then finishing it off on the grill was really, really key. Just wanted to let you guys know and leave you with one thought: is your best friends are out there, you just haven't met them yet. This is the first time we've met in person, and uh, it's like we've known each other for a really, really long time. Yeah. So you're stuck with us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. It's good stuff, man. I love my family. <laughs> we got we got the better end of the deal, though. <laughs> this this was amazing, but yeah, guys, uh, take this as an encouragement to reach out, share, and uh, yeah, create a community that just loves to hang out with each other and do some fun stuff. Until the next time, guys. We'll see you later. Oh yeah, and if you're in Northern, Southern California, hit up Gabby. The link to her Facebook business page is in the description, but it's Gabby's Grazings.
you know, I gotta unveil it slowly. I can't just, just tell you right away what I'm doing. It'll just spoil it, you know? That's just it. Gotta be patient. Clean my glasses, because I can't see a damn thing. Well, this is George. I don't know, we need George. George is a bad fish. Did you just assume his gender? <laughs> Dude, George is actually a female. <laughs> I'm offended by your <laughs> assumption. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, this is really happening, dude. Yeah, man. We're actually, I've been looking forward to we're it. We're actually on I feel like, location at a Hook to Cook. I feel like I'm on an episode of Hook to Cook, man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this you is are. what it feels like. <laughs> you are on an episode of Hook to Cook. It's really weird, though, to be here right now. To, like, you watch the episodes and then to okay. see it in person, Everything it's almost out. like you watching it on screen. Right what a weird thing. Look at me pointing my weird. camera at you. It, it's Inception is what it this is. This is Inception. <laughs> yes. And it's nice that you guys... <laughs> So weird. Ooh, a little extra protein in there. Yeah, a lot see. of extra protein. Yeah. See, that's why we don't use this for sushi. For sushi. Oh, those are worms right there. Those, right. Yeah, that's exactly what you want in your belly and your intestines, because yeah. they make you strong. <laughs> yeah, right. you're strong like bull. <laughs> these, actually, these worms, they don't live in you. They don't, huh? No. Oh, can we give a shout out to Ilya Seltzer right now? Ilya Seltzer, homie, I wish you were here, bro. You introduced me to Hook to Cook. You're always here, brother. When I'm fishing, I'm, it's like you're there with me, man. I miss you, and I can't wait to fish with you again, bro. But, dude, Edward's on the other side of that camera right now. This is happening right now, bro. I love you, man. Who eats this after fishing? Did you say, did you say Gabby's grazings? <laughs> oh, Gabby's, Gabby's grazings. And you can get a beautiful charcuterie board. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> Delicious. Yes, and if you want sushi, don't call me. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'll be fishing with Edward. <laughs> All right, my wish is that everyone will, may, may everyone's wishes be fulfilled. <laughs>